Back here. Got it. Beautiful. Most important button. Can't turn it on. We can't use it. Mm-hmm. Okay. Um, you have two different transducers. This is for vascular access, uh, superficial structures, and then this is going to be for abdomen, fast, cardiac, anything deep structures. This mm -hmm. one's going to go down to 35 centimeters deep, and this one goes from one to five megahertz, and this one. It goes from 6 to 13 megahertz. Okay, okay. This is your linear transducer. That's your phase transducer. Um, your two most important buttons, once you turn it, the uh, transducer on, yeah. is going to be your gains and your depth. In order to change your transducer, yeah. you're going to look up here and see which transducer is on. Right here, it's telling you which transducer is on that abdominal mode and it's on what's called the P which is phase that's this transducer 19. Okay. Okay so if we want to do vascular access we're going to go over here where it says transducer. Mm -hmm. We're going to tap on it and this is the application that's available in the transducer that's on right now and we're going to switch it to the linear L25 and hit switch. <clears throat> and then automatically switch it. It has two probes that are plugged in right here, so you do not have to unplug them or anything like that. Mm -hmm. okay. This notch groove correlates to this dot right here. So you know your orientation. If I place my finger right here, that will tell you where it is. So if this is on this side, that makes this lateral, that makes this lateral, this medial. So if I were to place it on my neck right here, just for your orientation. Okay. So if I'm placing this down on my neck, okay. I'm going back to your two knobs right here. Okay. This is your gains. This is your most important button right here. Your gains right here, when it says gain, is your overall gains, the brightness of your image. Okay. If you tap it once, whether here or here, either one's going to give you the same thing. It says near now. That's your near field. That's your top half of your screen. If you tap it a second time, it says far. That's your bottom half of your screen or your far field. And if you tap it a third time, it goes back to gain your overall gain. Most people will use the overall gain button. Okay? And then you have your auto gain. So if it's too bright, you could just hit your auto gain and then you can automatically, you can adjust it to however you're, you like it, brighter, darker, whatever it is. Your second most important button is going to be your depth. This is where your skin surface and transducer meet is right here, which is right here. Okay. And right now it's going down to 2.6 centimeters deep. And you're going to turn the knob to more shallow is going to go counterclockwise, 2.2, 1.9, and if you need to go deeper, you're going to turn it the other way. It's super important that you adjust your um, depth so that it optimizes the image for you. Okay? So you want your area of interest to be as uh, centered as possible as you can. Mm -hmm. This guide button right here where it says guide is this yellow dotted line right there that correlates to this arrow right here which gives you a center point if you like it you can leave it on okay. and that way you can line up your area of interest just on or off okay this guide right here is calibrated if you turn that off it gives you an option to have a center line it's the same uh, concept it just does not calibrate it gotcha okay this button right here is your orientation. Conventionally, the dot is upper left. You can toggle it through all four quadrants. Two, down right, down left, upper right. Zoom is zoom. The only time I ever see anybody using zoom is if they're gonna do like a radial. If they want it to somebody really tiny, they can zoom it up. Um, in order to do that, you would just, you have to take the center line off. The zoom is available. Move it up here and hit zoom again. 
the thing about Zoom is it will not give you any more pixels. So it will give you, it will make it bigger, but it will, um, it, the resolution will not be as pretty. It just takes Zoom off. Those are your main key buttons down here. If you want color, color is color. The most important thing about color is that this direction of flow is not material or this. You want to remember that. Okay, once you have your color box on, you can either toggle it with your finger up on the screen or down.